Hello, class six students. How are you all? I, I, I'm sure you all are doing very well staying safe uh, at home. Okay, so we are in the second chapter, right? We have, yesterday we have completed, like we have uh, performed a simple test to detect the presence of carbohydrate, starch, proteins, and fades, right? I'm sure you remember uh, turning like blue, black color confirms the presence of the starch, that is carbohydrate, and turning violet color uh, confirms the presence of proteins, right? And then uh, turning, like if you get an oil page in a paper that detects the presence of fades, right? Okay, so now, we, today we are gonna talk about deficiency disease, okay? But before we start with deficiency disease, it is very important for you to know a balanced diet, okay? Balanced diet means having all the uh, nutri nutrients, okay? The, the nutrients, whatever we discuss, carbohydrate, protein, fats, vitamins, mineral, roughage, water, everything in an appropriate amount, okay? If any nutrients is not present in your diet for a long time, then deficiency disease, you will get, the, uh, there will be diseases or there will be a disorders, clear? So we should be very careful and we should include all the nutrients in our diet, clear? Okay, so now uh, let's talk about, uh, okay, okay, vitamin C as well and vitamin, uh, vitamin carbohydrate, okay? Carbohydrate as well. So in carbohydrate, we see the major source is sugar and also rice, right? But rice, you have to wash it, right? You have to wash it before you cook. So what you have to do is overwashing may also lead to loss of, uh, loss of all the carbohydrates. So we should be careful in that as well. And then vitamin C, I have given uh, some examples. Vitamin C, a rich source are like, uh, uh, fruits, apple, mango, every, all the fruits, and like amla, that's a gooseberry. So vitamin C, uh, from green leafy vegetables, so we get vitamin C, but we should be careful because uh, while cooking, we have to cook, right? If we don't cook food, uh, it will be hard to digest, clear? So we have to cook food to taste better, but while cooking, you know, this vitamin C might get lost. So we have to be careful. So having uh, a raw, raw vegetables or a raw uh, fruits in your, in your diet is also sensible, clear. It's good for your health because in that way, the vitamins will not get lost, clear? So you have to remember that related with vitamin C as well. And for a rich energy source food like rice, you have to remember that overwashing may lead to loss of carbohydrates present in the rice. Okay? Okay, now uh, what will happen? What, what kind of diseases? Uh, what is a deficiency diseases? Deficiency disease is if there is a lack of uh, nutrition or uh, vitamins, nutri nutrients present in our diet, then it will lead to deficiency disease. And there are many, many harmful deficiency disease, okay? But uh, let me tell you, like, if there is no carbohydrates, if there is no carbohydrate or if there is no protein, both, both the nutrients, if the both nutrients are not present in your diet for a long period of time, that you will become very weak, you'll become very weak that you won't even be able to walk because there won't be any energy, clear? Now, if there is no carbohydrate, no carbohydrate in your diet, then uh, you'll get a disorder where you'll suffer from uh, stunted growth. Clear? A stunted growth where, uh, where uh, uh, the growth will be stopped completely and you'll have a very weird looking appearance. And then you'll also have a, a discoloration of hair. Okay, discoloration, your hair will be discolored. This coloration of hair. Discoloration of hair and you'll get diarrhea as well, clear? So this, uh, all this type of diseases you can get due to lack of carbohydrates, 
clear? In your diet. Okay, now in your text, in your text we have, they, they, they have given all many uh, deficiency disease. We are going to study each one by one. Okay, but before that, in your text, there is a friend of yours, right? Buju, you, you can see that in your text, a Buju, a fat guy, a, your friend, okay? So, it's, so what happened to him, you know? Because he liked energy, uh, he liked uh, f rich fat foods, clear? A food which are rich in fats like samosa, he always liked uh, oil, oily foods. Clear? So what happened to him? So he, okay, so uh, there are chances, there are chances of getting a disorder called obesity. Obesity, your friend, okay? Ob the ob your friend, the name of your friend is Buju, right? You can see that in your text. And then uh, he likes what? He likes food rich in fats, like oily foods, like chocolates, clear? And uh, every day he takes excess. So in that case, uh, there are chances of him getting this disorder, which is obesity. Weight, which is, obesity means uh, it is a weight above the normal requirement, okay? Normal, okay. Uh, in this obesity, there are the symptoms would be, uh, you, your body will become weak, it will, your, your body will become overweight. You won't be able to, to walk like, normally like your friends. The back ache, the, uh, everything will start. Clear? So this obesity is dangerous, and you can always avoid that, OK? So you, um, oily food, you can include in your diet, but in an appropriate amount. Clear? OK. So now, the deficiency and the, the, leg, the deficiency disease and the vitamins, the lack of vitamins in your diet, some, some main, uh, major diseases have been given in your text. So we'll discuss all one by one. Clear? Okay, so uh, students, if there is a lack of vitamin A, lack of vitamin A in your diet, over a long time, then uh, the deficiency disease which will occur from this is loss of vision. Okay, the loss of vision completely, and the symptoms will be uh, you'll have difficulty like in your vision, the far vision, the near vision, and eventually at the end the vision will be lost completely. So vitamin A is very important. Clear? The source, as I have told, that's from carrot, that's from uh, uh, yellow yellow fruits like papaya, mango, and eggs. Clear? So this is very important. And the diseases which can occur due to lack of vitamin A in your diet will be loss of vision. Clear? Now the second one, the second one is vitamin B1. Okay? Vitamin B1. If there is no vitamin B1 in your diet, then the deficiency disease which you can get from here is beriberi. Clear? Beriberi is a deficiency disease. That's not a name of a fruit, okay? Beriberi. So it is B-E-R-I, B-E-R-I. Beriberi. Clear? So what happens? What is the symptoms of beriberi? Here, what will happen is that the muscles will become very, very, very weak, okay? They won't even be able to walk. You can just identify that a person will have very, very, just by looking at them. Because uh, there's no energy at all. The muscles have become like so weak. Clear? So this very, very, it's, it's, it's due to the deficiency of vitamin B1. Clear? Now the next one is uh, vitamin C. If there is a lack of vitamin C in your diet for a long time, then the deficiency disease which can occur from here is scurvy. S-C-U-R-V-Y, scurvy. Clear? Here, what is the symptoms of this scurvy? Here, uh, 
there will be a bleeding. Uh, the, the gums will like start to bleed. Clear? The gums. I'm sure where it is located, the pink part, it will start to bleed. And the wounds will take longer time to heal. Clear? If for a normal person, the wounds will heal like very uh, quickly, it won't take time. But for a person who have this scurvy, which occurs due to the lack of vitamin C in your diet for a long time, what will happen is the wounds inside the mouth, it will take a longer time to heal. Clear? So I'm, are you clear with the first three deficiency disease? The first one from vitamin A, which will, uh, the deficiency disease is a loss of vision completely. Clear? Second, vitamin B1, very, very, where the muscles become very weak. The third one, vitamin C, uh, the deficiency disease is scurvy, where the symptoms will be bleeding of gums and the wounds will take longer, longer time to heal. Clear? Now we'll next uh, continue with vitamin D. Clear? Vitamin D. Okay, so students, now, if there is a lack of vitamin D in your diet, then what will happen? The deficiency disease related with this is rickets. Okay, rickets. Rickets is the name of a deficiency disease. Here what happens is in rickets, uh, the bones becomes like weak and they start to bend. Can you imagine bones like starting to bend? Clear? Because vitamin D, vitamin D, uh, okay, the, the major, the important source of vitamin D is sunlight, okay? Sunlight, it can be from egg and etc. We have many sources, but the major important uh, source are sunlight, eggs, etc. And if it's, this is not present in your diet, then you, uh, the deficiency disease which you will get from here is rickets, where the bones become the bones become become weak. The bones becomes weak, and there will be a bending. Bending of bones, you know, it would look so funny and weird, right, for a person who has rickets because the bones will start to uh, bend. Clear? So keep this in mind, vitamin D, if it's not there in your diet, chances of getting uh, rickets. Clear? Do you want your bones to become bent? Okay, so then uh, you should have, you should include this eggs, uh, uh, some fish in your diet, clear? Okay, now the next one, let's talk about some miner minerals, clear? Minerals, so if minerals are also equally important like vitamins, but in an appropriate amount. In, and let's talk about some deficiency disease uh, related with the mineral if those minerals are not included in your diet, clear? These are some min minerals. These, some, these are some minerals, okay? And if these minerals are not present in your diet, then there will be a deficiency disease. Now, uh, if uh, calcium, if there is a lack of cal calcium, there, there is a lack of calcium in your diet, then what will happen is bones and teeth. Bones and teeth decay will start. Do you want that to happen? Your bones decaying, the teeth decaying, the bones becoming weak. Then you should include this calcium in your diet. Clear? Now let's talk about iodine. Iodine, okay? Iodine. If there is a lack of iodine, this mineral in your diet, then the deficiency disease, the deficiency disease that you can get from here is goitre. G-O-I-T-R-E, 
Okay, this is also very dangerous because goitry, the symptoms, the symptoms associated with this goitry is there will be a swelling of glands in the neck, okay? Imagine the gland swelling, it will look like it will, uh, you'll have an extra gland here, clear? Uh, and then the second symptoms that you can see uh, due to lack of uh, iodine in the diet would be, uh, the symptoms would be, uh, for in children, there will be a mental uh, disability, clear? So you should keep that in mind. The symptoms are swelling of glands in the neck part and mental disability in children, clear? Okay, now what about this iron? The deficiency disease which you can get due to lack of iron in your diet would be anemia. Please keep, note this one down the deficiency disease, anemia, okay? Anemia. Iron is very important, clear? Iron is very important because iron uh, help us in maintaining, in, uh, the, in building the red blood cells, okay? We have the white blood cells and the red blood cells, right? So iron helps in maintaining our red blood cells. And if there is a lack of red blood cells inside our body, then there are chances, the, the disorder we should get from uh, this disease, this the lack of iron would be anemia. Okay, anemia is a, it's a disease, a deficiency diseases, which uh, due to lack of RBC, red blood cells. And iron helps in maintaining our red blood cells. Clear? So these are very important. And this you should include in your diet, these minerals, calcium, iodine, iron. Okay? So, and then uh, the deficiency, these are the deficiency diseases. Deficiency, deficiency diseases. So not all the diseases and the minerals, it's also given in your textbook. Clear? So uh, students, we are done with this second chapter. This is, this is very in components of food. This is very important uh, chapter, clear? So now we have studied about the major nutrients in our food, clear? And the nutrients are uh, which give us energy to do our regular work. You can, uh, you, you can lift up some heavy objects because you have the energy, right? So uh, we have studied about the nutrients, the different type of nutrients, and also we have, started, we have discussed how to, we have performed some tests, how to detect the nutrients, right? And uh, the balanced diet, which is very important, we have studied, and we have studied the deficiency diseases, which we can get if we don't, uh, there is a lack of vitamins and uh, minerals present in our diet for a long time, clear? If these minerals and vitamins are absent in, our, in the diet for a long time, then a deficiency disease will occur. And we have discussed all the deficiency diseases and also about the deficiency disease that can get due to lack of proteins in the diet for a long time. What were, what were those? Those were the swollen, uh, the swollen faces, the stunted growth, discoloration of hair, all were from the lack of proteins, right? From the lack, lack, of, carb, lack of carbohydrate and protein together, uh, the body becomes so weak, no energy to do the work, right? And uh, from the lack of minerals and vitamins, we have studied everything from vitamin A, uh, loss of vision, vitamin B1, beriberi, vitamin C, scurvy, vitamin D, rickets, and minerals, calcium. We have studied about iodine, which will lead to goitri. And then the last one we studied was um, Iron, lack of iron will lead to anemia, okay? Which is a disease due to lack of RBC, red blood cells inside our, our body, clear? So this is a very important chapter. Uh, go through all what we have discussed and tomorrow we will start with another interesting chapter. So thank you so much students. See you in the next class.